You want to um, speak to that a little bit? Like carbon fiber is huge, right? Yeah. Different types of G10 and and everything. And you can't just use a regular end mill for that stuff. Yep. Yep. And it's, it's really typically um, the, the end mills are because of the, the, the composition of that CFRP material, they wear they wear carbide out really quickly if you don't do the right coating and things. So, you know, we have diamond coated end mills and things like that. And what Danny was talking about, about the down cutters and the, and the compression cutters and the up cutters. One of the things you have to remember about CFRP is you can delaminate the top and the bottom segment of that really, really easily if you don't take care not to. And delamination, you know, once that's done, it's, you know, your part's not so good anymore. So if, if you're using a, uh, if, if you're mounted on a, on a table somewhere and you're using a, like a, a down cutter, it's going to push all of the, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to push. It's like a, like a right-hand spiral or a left-hand spiral. I mean, it's going to push the, the forces are going to go down and it's not going to try to pull that delamination off the top. So that's one. The compression, if you have a, if you have a piece of, of thick uh, material like that and you're going from the top to the bottom and you're, you're machining it, let's say you're machining a slot in it. The, the compression router will allow you to up cut on the bottom, down cut on the top, so the delamination, the forces are going into the part both ways. So, and we have a we have a whole slew of those type of cutters that we use on a regular basis. They're standards, most of them anyway, unless there's some specialty need for that. But there there's a lot of stuff out there, and like you said, it's really you don't hear about it much, but it's really a big deal.